hello, and oh, I'm not actually doing an episode of anything, so I don't need to say welcome back to X. So, uh, yeah, basically a quick update video. video sorry. Uh, so, basically, over the last, well, maybe month or so, I've been revising for exams because I'm doing a computer science degree and I've finished them, basically. I'm all done. Just got to wait for graduation now. And as such, I couldn't make a video this week properly on the RTS tutorial, so that'll be coming starting again next week. And in addition to that, I'll be doing more development on Laura Quiet, so hopefully I can have it out on Steam by the end of the year. So you'll get a lot more well, stuff on that, uh, development updates on that and stuff like that, and new features I'm working on an arcade mode. So if you can think, like, kind of like the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, where you've got like a, a sort of open area to go around and do objectives, so it's more freeform, or well, you can do what you want, then the... Uh, then the story mode stuff. So hopefully that'll be good and you can play that uh, at the end of the month-ish. Finish it on time. Uh, yeah, so what else? Yeah, so I should have more time to dedicate to YouTube and game dev and stuff while I relax and ignore the lingering possibility of joining work for the workforce. But whatever. And um, second thing is I'm gonna basically, well basically development on Lado Quiet is gonna go through Monday to Friday uh, YouTube videos going to be produced on Sunday, or coded on Sunday, and recorded on Wednesday, and uploaded on Wednesday. And Saturday is going to be my sort of dick about, like a, if I see something cool, or something like a, an algorithm or whatever that I want to try and implement, then I will do that that day on Saturday. And this is where I've come from. Basically, I've been reading an article on how sort of uh, Minecraft generates its biomes. So if you can see here, basically it has a grid of uh, random sections which represent different biome types and it expands the grid and randomly fills in empty slots based on its neighbors. So as you can see, the sections get more sort of erratic, uh, as you can see, yeah. Uh, and basically it works like this. Can I zoom in here? Yep, oops, no. Yep, there we go. All right, so you start off with this like kind of grid, then it expands it so there's gaps between each of the original numbers, and it fills that in randomly based on the original numbers adjacent to it, and that gives you this kind of map here. And this is what I've implemented, so if I just press play, I've added some variation for continents, which are basically just like large land masses surrounded by water, uh, land, which is just no water at all, and islands, which are just small land masses in water. So I've pressed I, <coughs> just like a debug thing. It'll increase the resolution of the image and over time it will get uh, slower because it's doubling in size each time. So this is 145 by 145. That'll be the next one will be 300-ish. We're just under, yep, 289. So you can see that like it generates a quite uh, believable looking sort of landmass, more so than the Perlin noise, I think. So this may be a better thing for uh, making maps with a tile-based RTS, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to continue looking at it, maybe see if I can add some mountain ranges by defining continental plates, rivers, shit like that. Uh, I would have to like work out a way to have neighbouring sort of uh, chunks so that uh, you don't get like straight lines at the edges like you can see there. Well, overall, I think it's kind of quite a nice uh, sort of algorithm that it sort of works as. So you can see the areas look a lot nicer. There's a little bit of smoothing. So basically, if a pixel is surrounded by more than it, basically a pi if it basically for smoothing it, I just go over every pixel, and if a pixel is not the same colour as the majority of pixels surrounding it, then it switches colour. And yeah, I think that's what gives us like little uh, bays in land, which is quite nice. Uh, and yeah, that's what I've been up to today. Uh, I should have an arcade mode preview next weekend, maybe. So hopefully I'll add, I'll still add a couple more unique enemy types, shit like that. But yeah, uh, a lot of the world building is done. So yeah. Uh, so cheers for watching, like, comment, subscribe. I'll leave a link to the 
article I was looking at in a description. If you want me to implement this, like for the RTS tutorial, you know, just uh, leave a comment and I will, because it shouldn't be too hard to translate from the original uh, Perlin noise mapping to this. So yeah, cheers for watching. Bye.